final note after you've completed your splice. We do expect it to last a lot longer than the cable itself. Industry standards say solid dielectric cables should last about 40 years, maybe even 50. So we expect the joint to last longer. Why is that? Well, you're putting on typically 25% more insulation. The mechanical protection is usually stronger than the original cable jacket and all the stress relief material that we applied in the joint. If it's done correctly, it should way outlive the cable. Many utilities do a complete autopsy on every joint that fails. This is Con Ed's Cable and Splice Center for Excellence, where failures from all of their divisions are bought for analysis. Richie Ragusa is dissecting a batch of Raychem three-way, one-way stop joints. This one has a radial puncture failure on the insulation of one phase at the PILC end, caused by moisture. Moisture entered the joint because of incomplete shrinkage of the outer jacket. Notice the green speckles that remain visible. In addition, the dual layer tubes still have raised ridges. If they had been properly shrunk, the ridges would have disappeared. This failure burned a hole right through the jacket at the PILC end. The cause was water entering at the opposite end. You can still see the water inside the mastic seal. At Con Ed and many other utilities, the history of every installed joint is kept in a central database so that patterns of failure for each type of joint can be analyzed. A review of Con Ed data shows the following leading causes of failure. Improper heat shrinking causes many problems. If the outer jacket is not shrunk properly, the moisture seals will fail. Incomplete shrinking of interior tubes can also cause interlayer voids and insufficient insulation levels. Improper racking or support. As we mentioned earlier, a well-made joint can fail if it's not properly supported. Make sure guards are in place to prevent abrasion. An improper oil stop. If oil leaks out of PILC cables, the cable insulation will no longer insulate and the oil will damage other materials in the joint. Poor indenting of the connector. A bad crimp means high resistance, which means overheating. PILC cable insulation wet when spliced. Always do the moisture test when working on PILC cable. Improper assembly. Here's a joint with a ragged edge on the semicon cutback. Joints have been found with missing mastic, missing oil barrier tubes, incorrect cutbacks. You'd be amazed to see everything that's turned up in failed joints. Follow instructions. No matter how many times you make this joint, follow the instructions your engineering group has provided for you. At Con Ed and Public Service, if a joint fails within the first five years of installation, the technicians who installed it may be invited to attend the autopsy. But the more you know about how joints are designed and what each component does, the easier it will be for you to make a joint that achieves the goal of lasting longer than the cables that you have joined.